This film is about a girl named Gunjan. She is different from other girls in general. When most girls are fond of flowers or other feminine things, Gunjan on the other hand really likes airplanes. It all started when she was a kid. In 1984, she and her brother Anshu were having a flight. The flight attendant who saw board Gunjan decided to cheer her up by bringing her to the cockpit, where she was fascinated by how beautiful the view of the sky was from the cockpit. She asked the pilot to let her sit in the pilot's seat, but the pilot said that for her to sit there, she has to be a pilot first. Since then, Gunjan had a dream that one day she would become a pilot. Her brother thought that her dream to become a female pilot was just nonsense because there had never been a woman who became a pilot, but his response was different from her father, Anup. He really supported Gunjan's ambition. Anup, who worked as a soldier, encouraged his daughter that it didn't matter. No matter the gender, a pilot is a pilot. Gunjan's dream to become a pilot had never changed ever since. When she was in high school, her ambition remained the same and did not change at all. At school, Gunjan is a decent student who even managed to secure a scholarship to continue her study at college, but she didn't seem to be pleased with that because what she wanted was to study at an aviation school. Gunjan didn't know how to be honest with his family about her plan. She was afraid that her family would be disappointed, but his best friend, Manu, told her to be brave. If she tells the truth, she might still get scolded, but if she chooses not to speak, she will regret that for the rest of her life. That sentence convinced her to make up her mind to tell the truth, but who would have thought that her family would make a celebration for her achievement, despite her being unpleased? The guests congratulated her, including her mother. The party really held back her intention to tell the truth, especially when she witnessed how her father proudly talked about her in front of his friends. Gunjan also tried to talk to Anshu, but he just didn't want to listen. Instead, he invited Gunjan to dance and told the invited guests to cheer on them. While dancing, she kept trying to speak with Anshu, but he didn't listen until she broke up and said loudly that she wanted to turn down the scholarship to be able to study in the aviation school to become a pilot. Because of that, she was scolded by Anshu and her mother in the kitchen. They both told Gunjan that her dream to become a pilot was crazy and instead told her to focus on studying. Hearing his family arguing in the kitchen, Anup decided to have a private talk with Gunjan. When they returned to the living room, Gunjan had become the talk of the guests, but thankfully, Anup easily took control of the situation and the party started again. The mother was shocked and could not believe it because Anup agreed to support Gunjan's plan to go to aviation school. The decision was made and because of that Gunjan could finally enjoy the party. In 1989, Gunjan went to Delhi to register for aviation school. With good grades in her hand, Gunjan could easily reach the requirements, but seeing Gunjan who is a woman, the registration officer suddenly changed the minimum requirements which previously could be enrolled by only a high school diploma. Instead, she had to graduate from college. Because of that, Gunjan had to postpone her dream. She was forced to go to college before she could register for aviation school, but that didn't make Gunjan give up on her dream. Three years later, Gunjan returned with her college diploma, but after the effort she took to fulfill the requirements, she was still faced with an expensive registration fee. Not only that, but the education will be taken for three years, but graduation can be up to six years. Gunjan didn't know what to do after hearing the fact that the money to be paid was huge. Her mother even said that it was impossible to have that much money and sarcastically said to just sell the house so she could enter the aviation school. Those words only added to Gunjan's disappointment even though she already had enough disappointment that day. The next day, Anup showed an article in the newspaper saying that there would be an opening for female pilots in the Indian Air Force and that it was a golden opportunity for Gunjan. Besides, she could pursue her education and would immediately get a job in the Air Force. The problem was how to tell her mother. Finally, with a little courage and a lot of worries at the dinner table, Gunjan told her mother about her plan to enroll in the Indian Air Force test. Her mother was angry because she thought that the only thing Gunjan chased was nothing more than just to be able to fly and there was no spirit of patriotism in her heart. Likewise, Anshu said that if she couldn't become the Air Force, maybe she would become an astronaut or Superman as long as she could fly. Because the atmosphere was so bad, Anup chose to leave the dinner table. At night, Anshu had a conversation with his father. According to him, his father always spoiled Gunjan since she was little and he never had a problem with it. But if Gunjan was allowed to become an Air Force soldier, it only meant that Anup didn't consider Gunjan's safety. Anshu didn't want his father to let Gunjan pursue her happiness by letting her went into straight danger. After hearing that, Anup left from there while praying for his son's safety on his departure, because Anshu was also a soldier in the army. Long story short, Gunjan finally took the Air Force entry test in 1994. She underwent the test smoothly. She had better viewpoint and problem-solving skills. She was also superior in knowledge to other female participants in the venue. Gunjan dared to correct the wrong statement from the officer named Samir when the other participants chose to be silent and justify the mistakes. 
Gunjin was also smart when a trick order was given to the participants. During the interview, Gunjin was able to prove that she could think out of the box, while the other participants on average answered the same questions. In short, when the announcement arrived of all the participants who met the requirements to enter the Air Force, there was only one person, namely Gunjin, who was able to pass all the tests. Gunjin was then required to proceed to a medical test, and shortly after the results came out, she was summoned and informed. The results showed that she didn't pass the physical requirements. She was 7 kilograms heavier and 1 centimeter shorter than the minimum requirements, but she was still given the time to appeal by the next two weeks. She received such bad news right after she felt that she had hope. Gunjin was sad because of the refusal and decided to go home. Instead of bringing good news to her parents, the result ended up being not as expected. The next day, Anup woke Gunjin from her sleep. Anuk showed a magazine containing an article about an actress who was on a diet and managed to lose 15 kilos in a month and ended up getting a role in a film. For Gunjin, reducing her weight was not a problem, but her height was the problem because it was impossible to grow taller by a centimeter in just two weeks. Anup then asked Gunjin to try her best and leave the results to God. Better to try your best than to cry out loud. With support from her father, Gunjin started her program. She started physical exercise and restricted her calorie intake. In the first couple of days, instead of losing weight, she actually gained more, but with support from her father, she managed to maintain her focus to reach her goal. It was really hard at first, but after a while, Gunjin got used to physical exercise and a healthy diet. Within a week, she lost managed to reach the desired weight to meet the requirements. Long story short, two weeks passed and Gunjin, accompanied by her father, returned to appeal the test result. Samir was amazed by Gunjin who managed to lose weight, but sadly the problem still remained because she still needed a centimeter to meet the requirements. Gunjin tried to persuade Samir not to mind the height which was less than a sem. To make Gunjin understand, Samir took Gunjin to sit in the pilot's seat. Samir explained that body height is directly proportional to reach so not being tall enough means less reach. He then asked Gunjin to reach the pedal and steer, but surprisingly, Gunjin was actually able to reach them. After she was checked, it turned out that even though her height was below the requirements, her arm and leg reach was 1.5 centimeters beyond the requirements. Because of that, Samir said that Gunjin passed the Air Force test. Soon after, Gunjin started her study in the aviation school. Her trained physic helped her advance the training on the grounds, while her intelligence helped her overcome the study in class, even to learn the ins and outs of driving an airplane. She faced no obstacle in doing so. Gunjin managed to ace her first flight training and was able to pass her education with good grades. Her mother and brother who were initially skeptical about her finally proud because she managed to prove herself that she was capable. When she returned home, Anshu, who had been in the army, reminded her about real life that as a female soldier, it won't be easy for her. She will be underestimated just because she is a woman. It hurts, but that's how the world works. With good grades, Gunjin was finally stationed in the Air Force unit in Unhamper. Her presence there as the first and only female soldier immediately made a change in the unit. When she arrived, she immediately met the commander of the unit named Gautam. On her first day, the commander told her to meet him on the runway in the next 10 minutes. The problem was when she wanted to change her uniform, she couldn't find a place to change. Even the toilet was meant only for males. She was forced to run to her dormitory to change her uniform and run back to the runway. But after taking a long way back and forth to the dormitory, she was late to the runway and was left behind. Her lateness made Commander Gautam angry and didn't accept any excuse from her. Her inability to find a place to change was not a good enough reason for her to be late. Gunjin was also punished by staying on the runway all day. On the second day, because she had to change at the dorm again, she was once again left behind and didn't get any practice sessions on that day. Suddenly, she got the idea to make her own changing room with cupboards and curtains. That way, she wouldn't be late for flight practice. A new problem arose. No captain wanted to accompany Gunjin to practice because they were afraid that she will be a liability during the flight. Every day, Dalip as the team leader conveyed Gunjin's cancellation of training for reasons ranging from the captain being sick to obvious made-up excuses that didn't even make sense. Gunjin realized that something was strange, starting from people avoiding her to the days that she spent in solitude. Gunjin felt lonely in the middle of a crowd. Once, Gunjin got a chance to train, but she wasn't even allowed to take over the control. Almost every day of her training was cancelled until finally, Gunjin had enough of the excuses. One day, when they were evaluating the training program, Dalip announced some of the best pilots with high flying hours, an average of 90 to 100 hours. The final ranking, of course, was obtained by Gunjin, who only flew for 11 hours. Listening to such low flying hours, Commander Gautam was angry and asked what was the reason. Gunjin could say that Dalip cancelled her practice, but Gunjin chose to be silent because if she spoke, it would be considered an excuse. 
Because of that, Commander Gautam ordered Gunjan to immediately meet him on the runway. When in the helicopter, Gunjan said that she was not a bad pilot. Listening to that, Commander. Gautam immediately told Gunjan to prove it. The Commander suddenly turned off the engine and ordered Gunjan to make an emergency landing. Luckily, with her agility and focus, Gunjan managed to prove herself that she was indeed a great pilot. Because Gunjan had the potential, Commander Gautam decided to train Gunjan to practice flying every day. Gunjan was happy because finally, she would practice properly. The training with the commander brought his own experience. Commander Gautam trained Gunjan really hard, but Gunjan could compensate for that assertiveness by proving herself successfully. Gunjan demonstrated the ability to fly helicopters above average without difficulty. The commander taught everything to Gunjan with ease because she could absorb the knowledge quickly. Because of the intense training with the commander, Gunjan managed to get the first rank in practice with 127 hours of flying hours. Because of that, she was appointed to give a briefing in the next training session. Such an amazing achievement for Gunjan, but on the other hand, not a pleasing thing for the male pilots in that room. Gunjan started to be more confident, but the male pilots began showing their dislike towards her, and some of them didn't even want to take orders from Gunjan, who was a woman. One morning, because of the promotion she got, Gunjan had to lead the briefing for practice that morning, but Dalip, who had just entered, suddenly ordered another pilot named Shekhar to replace Gunjan in front. Of course, Gunjan then asked and kept asking what was wrong, why did he treat her like that? After canceling her training session before now, he prevented her from doing her job. Fed up with Gunjan, Dalip ordered Shekhar and Gunjan to arm wrestle there. Of course, against Shekhar, who is a man, Gunjan had no chance to win. Dalip said that in their unit, they don't meet weaklings and crybabies. Everyone must be strong because the enemy will not tolerate it even if there is a female soldier in front of them. Dalip was actually telling a good point, but having to arm wrestle to prove strength really did make sense. Before going to sleep, Gunjan chose to fight back and couldn't let this condition continue. That night, she went to where the men gathered and pulled out the speaker, there to stop the music. Her behavior made Dalip angry. In front of everyone, Gunjan said the problem was not her weakness as a woman, but because of Dalip's fear of her being superior to the other man in the unit, including him. Even though respecting Gunjan didn't mean not respecting Dalip, she spoke as if what she had been harboring for months was spilled that night. Because of the incident earlier, Gunjan decided to go home and apply for leave. That morning, she arrived home. Of course, Anup was sad about what happened to his daughter. Such an irony. After struggling to achieve her goals, she instead got treatment like that, even though she managed to enter with a strict selection and prove her ability. One day, Gunjan attends Manu's wedding. Manu thought that Gunjan deliberately took a leave to attend her wedding, so Gunjan finally told her about everything she went through at her unit. Manu said that she had the same fate. She went to take thousands of auditions, but the result was never as she desired, so she gave up and started a new chapter by getting married. Seeing Manum happy made Gunjan think about her future. That day, a letter from Commander Gautam came for Gunjan, stating that Gunjan's leave was rejected and she must immediately report back to the unit. Gunjan then told her father that she wanted to resign from the Air Force, and that what her mother said about being a female pilot was right. She said that it was better for her to marry instead. Anup calmly agreed if his daughter wanted to stop fighting for her dream and instead live the rest of her life making bread in the kitchen. Anup then took Gunjan to the kitchen to make bread. He handed over the ingredients and told Gunjan to make it. Anup knew that Gunjan didn't know how to make bread and that he just wanted to enlighten Gunjan's mind that that's what the world wanted women to be. To forget their dreams and get married. Even though all this time as a father, Anup never taught things that could prevent the development of his children, it was more difficult for women to excel. But nothing could prevent Gunjan from flying, Anup didn't want his daughter to fail because if she decided to give up on her dream, not only her that lost the fight, but both of them. The motivation from his father finally convinced her to return to her unit. As soon as she arrived, Commander Gautam immediately stationed her at a base in Karjal where a war was roaring at that time. The country needed the best pilots, said the commander. Soon, Gunjan left for the Srinagar Air Force Base. Dalip was shocked to see Gunjan's presence there. Dalip then gave a briefing to the pilots about the mission they were going to carry out, a reconnaissance and rescue mission. Meanwhile, at home, Anup and his wife were worried when they see the news about the war in Karjal. They knew that their two children, Anshu and Gunjan, would definitely be sent there. In Trinagar, Gunjan finally met Anshu. Anshu said that the base was not the place for his sister. Suddenly, the base was attacked by the enemy, but luckily, Anshu was able to save Gunjan from the attack. Another time, Gunjan carried out a reconnaissance mission with two helicopters when she managed to get information on the enemy's location on a hill. Another helicopter, unfortunately, attacked. Gunjan reported to headquarters and intended to look for the pilot who had fallen, but instead, she was told to return and cancel the mission. 
News about the helicopter crash immediately went viral in the media, as well as the news about a female pilot who had survived the attack. The news about Gunjin received various responses from the people. Afraid that she would get caught or even become a war prisoner, the people didn't want her to fight in the war. After Gunjin's safety became national attention, Dalip decided to assign Gunjin back to Uthamper. Dalip didn't want them to experience any liability during a war. Gunjin still didn't accept the decision. Even though she was there because of her abilities, Anshu said that the world's way of thinking wasn't like that. Before leaving, Gunjin told Anshu to change his perspective. That way, maybe the world will also change. At the same time, the Indian army who were in the field suddenly ambushed from the top of the hill. They were cornered and the army headquarters called Dalip to ask for evacuation assistance by helicopter. Dalip was ordered to send two helicopters immediately. The problem was all the pilots were on duty and were far from the pickup point. They only had 30 minutes to save the armies in the field. Dalip didn't have a choice but to pick Gunjan on duty to fly the helicopter, while Dalip flew the other helicopter. Near the pickup point, the signal was really bad, even the headquarters lost them on the radar. From above, the Dalip managed to find the pickup location while Gunjan was ordered to orbit behind the hill until the next command was given. From her position, Gunjan suddenly saw the enemy's movements from the top of the hill. Gunjan immediately conveyed to Dalip, but unfortunately, because of the bad signal, the message was not conveyed to him. Unfortunately, Dalip was attacked and the mission failed. Gunjan reported to the headquarters that Dalip's helicopter was shot down. The headquarter told her to return to the base. At that time, Gunjan did not want to follow orders from the headquarters and chose to save the pilot who had fallen. Gunjan then ordered her co-pilot to assist the attack from above, which resulted in Gunjan successfully landing and evacuating Dalip with her helicopter, but a missile was launched by the enemy. Fortunately, Gunjan managed to escape the attack and brought Dalip back to the base. Before Gunjan left, Dalip thanked her and finally acknowledged her ability. When Gunjan came out, she was given appreciation by her colleagues for her great rescue action. Gunjan finally received recognition despite being a woman. Likewise, Anshu was sure that if he needed help on the field, he knew that Gunjan would be able to save him. Gunjan became a pilot who contributed to India's victory in the Karjal War by carrying out more than 40 reconnaissance and rescue missions. Gunjan's glorious career is inseparable from the role of a father who supported his daughter's dreams and believed that Gunjan could fight all doubts about her.